to this special show in the next 30 minutes we take you behind the scenes of Harper's Bazaar Brides special shoot. Actress Ileana De Cruz dresses up as the travelling bride for a destination wedding. So let's roll the show with the first look which also turned out to be her favourite. I'm still waking up. <laughs> so I'm definitely excited but I think I need to know more about the mood. Be a princess today. Just today? Am I like a prince princess bride? Yeah, so we don't care for your destination wedding. Destination wedding. Yeah. Well princesses are destination weddings too. <laughs> I'm starting definitely with very soft braided hair. Um, a little bit, yeah, I pin it up, so it's not a down plait, it's, um, yeah, the first look is an updo, soft braided updo, um, with loose hair strands. <laughs> yeah, now you can see the high <laughs> nails. Away, no? Yeah. Yeah, I also think so. The very, you know what I'm saying, the very, like... Yeah. The makeup is um, also very soft and on the eye, but I'm going to concentrate on the lip and give her a nice dark lip. And um, yeah, so that's, that's the first look. Beautiful, Eliana. You're looking so lovely. Thank you. It's very, very morning. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's my first time in Udaipur, and uh, it's stunning. It's it's like um, it's like a little oasis. I feel totally disconnected from the rest of well the world almost. It's lovely. You don't hear traffic. You just hear birds and nature and it's just like, oh wow, this is beautiful. I even saw a peacock a little while ago. Stunning. The unpredictable nature of photo shoots that I love. That, you know, you expect it to go one way and then it'll go another way and it turns out, it turns out differently to what you expected altogether. And even when you're shooting it, when I'm shooting it, I don't know what the photos normally look like. I mean, a photographer's perception is something else altogether. And, I mean, the way Arjun shoots is amazing. So when I saw the photos, I was like, damn, it's amazing. So I love it. I love, I love the fact that I can have this glamorous kind of persona when I'm doing photo shoots. And when I'm not doing photo shoots, I'm just this regular beach bum who wears shorts or jeans and stuff. So, you know, I like the little um, sort of characters I can take on. But my work allows me to do so, it's great. So take one step. Nice, lovely, lovely, that's so nice. I love the Anamika Kannavan, definitely. I've got a soft spot for her, for sure. So I definitely, definitely love her outfit. It's very Princess Leia in a way. You know, her outfits are absolutely made to make a woman's body look absolutely. even more sexier and more beautiful and elegant and everything rolled into one. So I felt like a million bucks wearing it. I didn't want to take it off. I figured, you know, if I, if I do, that would be a nice outfit to wear at my wedding. How about the lenga? Oh, you can't look super heavy. It's the first time that I was working with her. It was very nice. Yeah, very lovely. She has a very like petite face, and it's very lovely to work on it. The Udevilas Palace was the perfect backdrop to create the royal look and feel for the shoot. But when Ileana had to pose with an elephant as a princess. This is what happened. Take a look. Yeah, yes, Bonk please. You, 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 you. This water the bag, thank you. I've got people dressing me up. I'm wearing this stunning outfit and um, I love it. I think I think all this work is so intricate, you know, and I'm excited. 
I've never really worn something like this for a shoot before, so I'm excited. So the whole scheme of the shoot has been pretty much pastels and there's a lot of transparency, a lot of lace. And this is hand developed lace. Uh, it's an outfit by Anand Tabra. He is one of the most beautiful couturiers in the country. And it's very it's very different as well. It's like a slit sari with like a very nice V-neck sort of flared blouse. And we've paired it with very statement as you can see, large, very princessy jewelry from Kalaji Jewelers. So yeah, and the whole vibe, I think her whole beautiful face with the dark lip and the braids and everything, even the makeup and hair has come together really well. Very she's very royal. She's, she's, she's I embodying it. it. I wish she could be a princess every day. <laughs> <laughs> Move your legs and all the shoulders. What you did like earlier was nice. Okay, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. So what you want me to do? The elephant gave me the jitters because I, I'm always a little finicky when we're working with animals, and uh, I don't know. I just feel that it's such an odd position for them to be in, you know, and. I just felt really bad, so I was just thinking of the discomfort that it was going through. I was like, please don't take it out of me. <laughs> so I was really hoping it wouldn't just get into a little fit and just go pew, kick me. Thankfully that didn't happen. But I don't think she liked me <laughs> at all. Well, it's so unnatural for them, right? I mean, they're not meant to stand in one place and not move. So every time I tried leaning against her trunk, she kept moving and I kept losing balance and I tried to look pretty and I was like, this is gonna be really, really difficult to do. But I think we got some awesome shots. I mean, Arjun was super quick and he just kept clicking away and he get, got whatever he could and we kind of made that work. So hopefully that's good enough. The most challenging problem is with the elephant because Ilyana, I think she was a little scared about uh, being close to the elephant and she was always moving away and I always wanted her to come close to the elephant to shoot. And But finally we got it and uh, I think that's the cover, <laughs> most probably, <laughs> sort of thing. The Uday Vilas Palace is nestled on the banks of Lake Pichola. While it's a great spot for a destination wedding, it's also an ideal place for a retreat. Catch Ileana as she takes a boat ride on Lake Pichola. Do I need to wear this? This feels really good. Sure. Single makeup artist I work with like, oh, don't wear lashes, don't wear lashes. And I'm like, trust me, I want them. Just leave them, leave them. Water baby, and even if I had to topple over into the water, I can swim. I was worried about the clothes. Well, because Mohit was gonna get a panic attack in case I dropped anything into the water, so he made sure everything was pinned super tight to me. Um, I was alright. I think sometimes what happens is I get a little nervous when we're shooting with boats and stuff because you know when we work together as a team, we get a little overexcited. And we're like, oh yeah, 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 I'm gonna come on the boat too. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come on the boat too and we overcrowd and then things just go a little crazy. So, well thankfully we were pretty calm and we went through it easily and there weren't I think only three people were allowed in that little boat, so we managed and we got some really nice shots. I think we did it super quick today. We had a lot of issues with the rain and stuff, but we made it work somehow. 
shooting from out of the boat I really didn't work too well because of the weather again so I had to get into the boat and then look for different angles but eventually we nailed it. Post the boat ride the princess was all set for tea. The fresco painted walls and the greenery around formed the perfect backdrop for this look. <laughs> Princess having tea. Yeah, oh, it was uh, again. I mean, we shot that so quickly, it just like came and went. So it was beautiful. I think it looked uh, certain outfits, you know, you don't realize how they're going to photograph, and that just photographed beautifully. And the white on white just looks lovely. She was supposed to be a princess today, so we wanted the look to be very romantic and soft. And um, Mohit also wanted me to include some braids, so I came up with that look to put them both up. A little bit inspired by Frida Kahlo also, because it's also like romantic and um, yeah, so and it suits her also very much and it suits the whole look, so we kept actually the hair throughout the looks. With that Frida Kahlo inspired style, I also went for the dark lip and the eyes very soft but still um, contoured. So very slightly you see a little bit of like the gold shimmer and the skin very dewy and um, spotless and glowy. Finally it was time for the princess to bid adieu. The look was dramatic and was creative keeping her stature in mind. Take a look. Okay, so I want you to walk. Hmm? Right. I will tell you what, don't throw now. That is. Ah, you are all set. Okay. Uh, he, come this way, come this way, come this way. I've got mixed feelings about this shot. You know, I'm supposed to walk down like, oh yes, this is me and I'm royalty and I've got my men holding my bags and someone holding an umbrella. And I was just like, this is so weird. This is so weird. <laughs> this is odd. I mean, yesterday I was walking into the hotel and I was so tired and so sleepy. And I had this really nice man who was escorting me from the hotel and he's like, man, this is like 50 acres and this is that. And he's telling us the history of the place. and. Without warning, I just see this stuff falling from the roof and I'm like, what's happening? And it's like rose petals from, from the roof and I was just like, wow, I mean, do I really deserve a welcome like this? It's something pretty cool. Yeah, hey, but it's cool. It's, 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 um, it's nice to enjoy these little perks once in a while. I think that's the best part about my job. So, you know, you deal with the weight and the heavy stuff and, and, and long days and long hours and then you have this <laughs> flowers shout at you. So we got uh, random people from the hotel to uh, serve as like bellboys and like hold an umbrella for her and all of that and like we had people from top throwing petals a lot of things had to be coordinated at the same time and I think everybody did a good job. <laughs> yeah, all fell in place together. Lots of looks, long day, and I think it just feels like it's been a lot of looks, but it's actually not been a lot. It's been five different looks. But uh, intense, pretty heavy. <laughs> It 
this funky youngster who broke out onto the scene a couple of years ago and has quickly climbed up to the number one spot. She's a perfect mix of innocence and glamour, which is what makes her a stunner of a bridal cover girl. Take a look. cover has been has yes has been very different from my first cover um i think for me uh, this cover probably re resembles more of my personality it's fierce at the same time it's stylish and um because i'm probably the youngest bride that could be on the cover for now it is also young and kind of rebellious in its own way so the whole story also is very moody and you know we were very fortunate to shoot at the beautiful bell tower at taj kulaba so the whole atmosphere was like that and for me it's a step forward because i've never done something like this before the look is basically a cocktail bride it's not so much a bridal look but you'll still see elements a few bridal elements in the shoot Mirror, mirror on the wall, Alia is the fairest of them all. She casts a reflective spell in this outfit from Burberry, perfectly set off by jewelry from Anmol. Now, when ox blood and royal blood come together, what do you get? Well, magic, of course. I believe, of course, wedding the your wedding day is that one day where you can. Tall up, and everybody's going to be staring at you, and it's all about you, and all those things. But for me, a big do will be for me to be comfortable. I want to like almost get married in my pajamas, but I'm not going to do that because uh, I it's going to be against my 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 girl rights and my girl morals. So I won't do that. But definitely, I will say keep it classy, keep it stylish, but at the same time keep it minimal. Doing too much on your wedding day is not. Going to change the fact that it's the most beautiful day. So let the day take over your looks, and then your looks will go in hand with the day. So Burberry's collection this time is very bohemian. It's very, I, I personally feel it's very Indian inspired. There's so much mirror work there. There's cross stitches. It's almost like it came from Gujarat. The whole work. Looks like black is the new black. Alia Bhatt takes this color that they say is the least festive of all shades and elevates it to bombastic bridal levels. She does this with the help of some shiny jewelry, but mostly it's all that sparkles from within. Shine on, you crazy diamond! using colored stones i think accessorizing is the most important if you look even if you look at the shoot what we've done with the accessories we've tried to be really really playful with it with like using fine jewelry but using lots and lots of colored stones lots of white diamonds you elevate it you bring it up you pop the you pop the black and if you notice the blacks both the blacks are very risky they're very sexy so i mean i think the best way to accessorize them is use very like strong colorful accessories skins use fur sometimes if that's that's something that you're up, you're up for and yeah trims and hints of these you know very opulent materials can really add to a look and make it very evening well burgundy is the preferred color of the royals and take a look at how alia looks red hot in this maroon monisha dressing the very pronounced 1940s sort of uh, wave that we've done the veronica lake wave that we've done of course with the modern interpretation the dark mouths that we've done on her the very dark glam eyes it's it's a full it's a very full fledged glamorous shoot coming up is an outfit that you can rock all the way from udaipur to the upper east side cuz jenny pack a silver gown packs a fairy tale punch and makes alia look like the perfect porcelain princess
I was carrying was the Bulgari uh, bag. Also, that short uh, in general is a very uh, my kind of short with the colors and the combination, and just standing near the window and the hair. Everything was just kind of perfect. So yeah, I would go with that bag. So we brought you to gorgeous bridal beauties who made for perfect cover girls. We hope you've been taking pointers on how we incorporated fashion right from the runway into your wardrobe so that you can sparkle at the next wedding season. Also remember to pick up an issue of Harper's Bazaar Bride from stands next to you for all the weddings do's and don'ts. And until next time, remember to stay golden.